Hi, my name is Kate. I am a small business owner and mother of five children, ages two to 14. I also homeschool them while working on a master's degree in classical education at the University of Dallas. I have homeschooled for five years, utilizing a number of curricula and different methods of education. In 2018, I opened a nonprofit, Aquinas Vancouver, here locally in the state of Washington. This program seeks to enable and equip families to home educate. We teach parents how to homeschool. Specifically, we teach them how to successfully implement a classical education with a range of ages. But I'm familiar with most typical formats as seen in most public schools. I was educated in a, in a public school system. In light of the recent pandemic, schools throughout the world have suddenly closed, leaving parents and students in a difficult position. Some schools have scrambled to switch over to a rushed distance learning education. Others have sent home loads of books and paperwork, and others have sent nothing. There is a panic sweeping our nation. Frantic parents are trying to find resources at home with curricula they've never used before themselves. Sometimes they have guidance and sometimes they do not. This is scary for a lot of you. This is new and it's unfamiliar and your kids don't know what to expect. I know that many of you are feeling a lot of fear and anxiety. Fear is coming at you in many forms and your kids are feeling it too. I wanted to reach out and give you a list of my top six suggestions for parents during the school closure. One, don't panic. This is temporary and it's going to be okay, it really will. The biggest obstacle is overcoming your own anxiety and calming your kids' anxiety. Two, don't start today. Take a few days, get yourself mentally prepared and get your home prepped before you begin lessons. Your kids need time to readjust to a new normal anyway. I have four subcategories for this. A. Make space in your home for studying, the kids' room, the dining room table, the sofa, it doesn't really matter. B, make it pretty. It doesn't need to look like a classroom, but you do need to enjoy being in it for a number of hours a day. C, gather your pencils, paper, pens into a container that are easily accessible. Then get two bins, one for the books to be done that day and the other for the work that has been accomplished for the day, and then repeat the following day. D, make sure that there is decent lighting and seating. All right, number three, create a schedule and make a list, then prepare to abandon it. It's good to create a schedule and you should have one, but what looks good on paper often doesn't work in practice. Just ask me how I know. Be very flexible with your schedule. It is unlikely that you will complete everything on your first draft. You still have a home to run, food to make, chores to do, normal family stuff to prepare for, to keep your family going and healthy. Be very flexible with your kids and especially with yourself. Four, be patient. I usually tell my new clients to give themselves eight weeks to find their groove. You don't have that much time because this situation won't last for the long term. Week three will probably be your hardest. Most people get started and then quickly run into issues, but don't give up. Your kids need a routine and a structure for their day, and you can provide that in your home. Five, the words keep up, throw out of your vocabulary. Hundreds of thousands of students have suddenly been asked to home educate, either through distance learning or with their parents on their own. They are not used to this new role. Uh, they don't have the expectations. The kids all learn at a different pace. It won't happen. Your new goal is not to keep up with the class. It is to make daily progress and keep peace in your home. Six, finally, think of this time as a family retreat more than as a house arrest. This could be the best thing that has ever happened for your family. It might not seem that way right now, but keep a positive frame of mind and watch closely. Everything is going to be okay. So those are my six suggestions to get you started for the first week or two. New challenges will come, but remember to be in a state of rest and do not, allow, do not allow anything to disrupt your peace. I am available for 30 minute consultations through Zoom or Skype for only $50. Please reach out, don't struggle alone. You can do this 
and you can be very successful. Email me at aquinasvancouver at gmail.com for a time slot. That's Aquinas, A-Q-U-I-N-A-S, Vancouver, B-A-N-C-O-U-V-E-R, at gmail.com. And thank you.